In the previous video, Christian introduced you to the MIDI language. In this video, we're going to delve deeper into MIDI hardware and connectivity. This will give you an understanding of how the MIDI language can be transmitted between devices. When we're connecting up different MIDI devices, whether they're synthesizers, samplers, lights or computers, it's vitally important to remember that as a communication standard, MIDI connections are serial and as such data can only flow in one direction. When getting started with MIDI, people often found the connections for different devices confusing, but once you understand that data only flows in one direction, it becomes less difficult. Another interesting aspect of MIDI was that due to the cost constraints placed on it, communications were also staggeringly slow when transferring data versus the modern connections we use with computers today, and in fact were even quite slow in 1983. The restrictions placed on MIDI hardware had two net effects in practical terms. Firstly, all MIDI devices contain three ports, in, out and through, to enable data to flow in the direction needed. These ports and connectors use a 5-pin DIN connector. Secondly, computers required a MIDI interface to talk to MIDI devices as no computer ports could transfer data at the correct speed at the time. Very few computers have come standard with a MIDI interface, although the first was the Atari ST in 1985, making it the undisputed champion of both home and professional musicians. When MIDI data is transmitted, the serial nature of the device means that each bit of data must be sent one after the other. The transmission rate of this data is 31.25 kilobits per second, or about 770 times slower than a typical high-speed internet connection. Each MIDI cable is able to carry 16 channels, which can be thought of as individual instruments or tracks. If we take a look at the small MIDI setup we have here, you'll notice that we have a keyboard plugged into a laptop, which is also plugged into a drum machine. Interestingly, the keyboard is able to function both as a USB MIDI device itself and also as a MIDI interface. You can see that it has both traditional MIDI ports on the back of the keyboard for connecting other devices and a USB port for connecting to a computer. Data is able to flow from the computer via the MIDI interface out to an external synthesizer module. To make that connection, we'd plug a cable from the MIDI out port on the keyboard to the MIDI in port on the synth. Note that if we wanted to complete the loop of information back from the synth to the computer, we could connect the MIDI out port on the synthesizer to the MIDI in port on the keyboard. Modern connectors you might find on MIDI device include USB, which is common with keyboards and MIDI controllers, Ethernet or LAN, which has become common with MIDI controlled mixing desks. Less common connections include Firewire, and as with most modern electronics now, wireless connections are also possible using Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Within computers themselves, it's also possible to have virtual MIDI connections, which are used to send MIDI information between different devices and pieces of software. These include Audio MIDI Setup on Apple computers, MIDI Yoke on PCs, and Jack, which was initially for Linux, but is now available for all platforms. In our next video, we'll look at MIDI sequencing, but in the meantime, attempt the three questions below this video.